for all the hardcore people out there who are going to try and move the piano with themselves and with some trustworthy friends. The cost of moving yourself is also something to be um, considered because it's not just the free option. There is no free option. You still need to um, get your hands on some equipment, some specialized equipment, a dolly, which is like a little platform with some wheels on it, and a hump strap are essential for the move. Actually, the lifting, the heavy lifting, is just easing the weight on the dolly so that it can move, rather than lifting the piano free of the floor and simply carrying it. So this is why you need all this gear, so that you avoid that sort of free actually carrying the full weight of the piano and injuring your bodies or the piano, obviously. Some other things that you'll probably need, work gloves, best to use gloves when you're lifting the piano. You need some tape, uh, packaging tape preferably. You need a cloth or plastic wrap and padding. So these are things that you'll use to, you'll pad the lid of the piano and then wrap the whole piano in either fabric or plastic wrap. And you're going to reinforce all of that with tape. Then you've got weightlifting straps or hump straps which you're going to use to strap the dolly onto the piano. So you put the piano on top of the dolly and then you strap it to it so it doesn't come undone. And then you're also likely going to need some sort of a ramp to get the dolly up into the van or truck. You're also going to need some cardboard pads if you have um, stairs that you need to navigate. Cardboard pads will come in handy. You need at least four people, not including the you. Technically, you should be administrating the whole thing and have four extra people to carry the piano. Um, so you don't actually have to carry it. That's the great thing. And also, obviously, a truck or a van to transport it. So there's still quite a few things involved. The DIY version is definitely not the easy version. Mm -hmm.